Good morning and welcome back into North Dakota Today. Well, the Mall of America is your one-stop destination whether you're looking for a one-day getaway or a weekend-long stay. Joining us via Zoom to talk about everything MOA is the Vice President of Experiential Events, Chris Grapp. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me on. Of course. So I hear that there's some exciting things going on at the mall, but especially at Nickelodeon Universe. Tell us about the new rides. Yeah, there's always something exciting going on, but we're really excited to introduce a couple new attractions in Nickelodeon Universe. Uh, the first is Boots Banana Swing, uh, featuring our simian friend from Dora the Explorer, Boots, who gets into all sorts of trouble. But kids can go on a little adventure with Boots and uh, his crazy banana swing. But the big showpiece that we're really excited about is Fly with Appa. Avatar, the last Airbender cartoon, has been popular for decades, but really saw a resurgence over COVID when episodes were put on Netflix. And since then, the studio has gone crazy and started building out the world of Avatar, the last Airbender. And we thought it appropriate to celebrate with uh, giving guests this opportunity to fly with Appa, who is Aang's trusted sky bison companion. It's really cute, it's super fun, and families are loving it right now. That does look like a blast from that video we just saw. What about Slime Central? This is something that definitely piqued my interest. Yes, yes. So sliming is synonymous with Nickelodeon, <laughs> and we wanted to find more ways to bring this forward to guests. We call Spring Break here Slime Break. We take our silliness very seriously, and for the first time, guests are able to get slimed at Nickelodeon Universe. So on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays through April 14th, guests can uh, get slimed. There's a little show that goes along with it, a souvenir t-shirt showing your accomplishment, having had the slime of your life. But that's another thing that families really enjoy. And that is set up for one, port, one person or two people to go at the same time. Well, that certainly does sound like a lot of fun. Well, I also heard that happening is some Paw Patrol related activities. Can you fill us in? Mm -hmm. Yep. When we see the pups, they're often very busy. You know, they're solving crimes, they're finding loose chickens for the mayor. And uh, we wanted to show guests what the pups do when they're off duty. So we have a little stage show on Saturdays and Sundays called Paw Patrol Pups Off Duty, where you get to see Chase and Marshall and uh, what they do when they're not out there, you know, solving mysteries and, and helping folks in need. It's really, again, I feel like I'm re repetitive, but it is a really fun thing for families to do. Guests are enjoying it. And while Paw Patrol skews a little bit younger, um, I do watch adults I observe from a safe <laughs> distance and see the crowds reacting and they're bobbing their heads along too and having a good time. Definitely something for everyone then. So with Easter coming up, are there any Easter egg hunts planned for inside the mall? We do. We have what we call the scrambled egg mix up where you can go to one of the retail locations and you get a map and you need to then go to find all the eggs hidden in the park and then write down which egg is in which location. When you fill that out and you return it to retail, there is a there is a prize for our guests who participate in that. And then of course, there's character opportunities. Uh, SpongeBob will be in the park wearing his rabbit ears to celebrate as well. There's a, a lot of variety. And as you said, there's something for everybody. Definitely, and for those who are maybe thinking about coming down over Easter weekend, are you open Easter Sunday? Yes, yep, many of our retailers are. The park will be open as well. And uh, it just depends. Um, my wife is from West Fargo. She and her mom used to do the day trip, but yeah. also you can uh, you can do the overnight as well. And there's several packages available that you can find on our website uh, should you decide to extend your stay longer than a day with our hotel partners here in Bloomington. Wonderful. So why would you really recommend folks to come down and visit if they haven't been before? If they haven't been before? Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that. That's a tough one. Um, it can it can be overwhelming. It can be a lot. But really, it is just there's always something for people to enjoy here. Whether there's events in the rotunda or the atrium, we're about to kick off our spring music festival, the new attractions in Nickelodeon Universe. But again, if you've never been here before, well, there's a whole universe of Nickelodeon attractions for you. There's two indoor mini golf courses, Museum of Illusions, Wink World. There's uh, fantastic places to dine. It's really, it's it's kind of a choose your own adventure and choose your own pace with it as well. Um, there, there's something for everybody. Absolutely, and then really quickly before we leave, how can folks find more information? Head to our website, mallofamerica.com. Everything that we talked about will be available on there, plus so much more. Wonderful, well thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. Yeah, of course.
right, everyone stick around. We have more North Dakota today coming right up after this break.